Now, a good head teacher, if they've got a good assembly plan, will actually do that and plan it and practice a little bit. All right. So this is your opportunity before your assembly next week to use these people as guinea pigs so your assembly goes as smoothly as you want. So you've got your script there that you've written. So away you go. You can do take as long as you want. Good afternoon, everyone. We'd like to ask. We'd like to start our assembly with some notices. Firstly, there's. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Yeah, because yeah. you may have some notices. And birthdays today are. <laughs> We've enlisted the help of several of your captains. They're going to take part in a quite simple quiz in order to gain extra house points. We'll ask them several questions. Each correct answer is worth 10 house points. The captains are. Well, who, who will they be? Olivia, Jess, no. Luke, and. Um, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Assembly with some notices, Mr. Uh, two very quick notices. Yes, seven. Those who were due to play at side football at Great Cornard yesterday, that maximum rearranged for next Tuesday. I'll get a letter to you as soon as I can. We'll be out before the afternoon. You'll be back in time to go home on your bus or whatever. Secondly, a safety notice. From this point onwards, the playground, the tennis courts, and the science garden are all out of bounds. You are not allowed to use that for your break times or your lunch times. There are far too many people not using it sensibly. It is very, very slippery, therefore you have to go onto the field. You will need to bring trainers with you so that you can do that. Also, anyone that is caught throwing what they think is a snowball will lose their lunch times until at least the end of next week. It is far too dangerous. All you are creating is a ball of ice. Please, no throwing any form of snowballs and stay off the playground, the tennis courts and out of the science garden, please. Thank you. Birthdays. Um, happy birthday to Colin. <coughs> happy birthday to Colin. Happy birthday to Colin. Happy birthday to Colin. Now from Bainpop Assembly, we've enlisted the help of several of your captains. They're going to help us take part in quite a simple quiz in order to gain extra house points. We'll ask them several questions and each correct answer is worth 10 house points. Your captains are Grace, Kitty, Lou, and what's his face? Yeah, I can't think of his name. Who are you? Roman or Roman? Roman. Roman. Okay, let's start with some simple geography. Grace. What's the capital of Scotland? Edinburgh. Correct. Luke, what's the capital of Wales? Cardiff. Very good. And Kitty, <coughs> what's the capital of Ireland? Very good. Brilliant. Um, yeah. Um, what's the capital of Azerbaijan? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Azerbaijan? Come on, you should really know that by now. That's really cool. It's back. Maths now. Great. Multiply seven by three. Twenty-one. Correct. Luke, multiply five by eight. Forty. Well done. Kitty, multiply two by twelve. Twenty-four. And Ronan, multiply seventy-three by three hundred and nine. Hard <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I suppose you don't really know that answer, do you? <laughs> Okay, so English spelling now. Grace, can you spell school? S-C-H-O-O-L. That's very good. Now Luke, can you spell teacher? P-E-A-C-H-E-R. Very good. And Kitty, can you spell pupil? P-U-P-I-L. Very, very good. Now, can you spell Mediterranean backwards? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
corkscrew. <laughs> Thank you for listening and wait for your teacher to ask for tea.